Virus Total debunks claims of a serious vulnerability in Google owned antivirus service. Third party file and theft doubts have arisen about the veracity of research that purportedly demonstrates a serious vulnerability involving Virus Total, a Google owned antivirus comparison and threat intel service. Virus Total VT offers a service that allows security researchers, sysadmins, and the like to analyze suspicious files, domains, IPs, and URLs through an aggregated service that bundles close to 70 antivirus products and scan engines. Samples submitted through the service are automatically shared amongst the security community, including, but not limited to, the vendors who maintain scanning engines used by VT. Catch up on the latest cybersecurity industry news and analysis in a blog post published on Tuesday. Israel based cybersecurity education platform provider Sysource claims researchers were able to execute commands remotely within the virus total platform and gain access to its various scans capabilities. The attack relies on a doctored DJVU file with a malicious payload added to the file's metadata. This payload relies on the CVE-22204 vulnerability in a metadata analysis tool, EXIF tool, to then achieve remote code execution, RCE, and a remote shell. Sysource researchers' findings were submitted via Google's VRP in April 2021 and resolved a month later. But rather than demonstrating a way to weaponize virus total, as they suggest, all Sysource has shown is a means to hack an unpatched third-party antivirus toolbox. According to Virus Total, in a rebuttal of the research posted as a thread on Twitter, Bernardo Quintero, Virus Total's founder, said that the code executions are happening on third-party scanning systems that take and analyze samples obtained from VT rather than Virus Total itself. Virus Total makes no use of the vulnerable version of the EXIF tool in. Furthermore, none of the affected machines were maintained by VT. According to Quintero, Quintero said that he informed the researchers of this in response to their initial disclosure last May. He criticized their decision to publish what he argues are misleading findings regardless as fake news. None of the Reported machine was from VT and the researchers knew it, according to Quintero. The Daily Swig has contacted Sysource for a response to this criticism and will update this story. As and when more information comes to hand. You may also like Java encryption implementation error made it trivial to forge credentials.